just staying calm and focused and using the tools and skills that we've been uh, learning and practicing and engaging in. The New Hampshire Department of Corrections is reporting today 28 active cases of COVID-19 among prisoners, and on Monday they reported 27 staff members with active cases. This is not and something we ever thought we would be immune to. With cases inside the prison rising, they're calling in the National Guard. The commissioner says they're training on how to work in the correctional environment, and they will be helping, but they will not provide direct supervision of the prisoners. We want to be very careful that we reserve the uh, direct resident work to our certified corrections officers and use the National Guard service members in a way that's effective and and will have positive outcomes for all of us. News 9 heard concerns from family members and friends of the prisoners about how the prison is handling the rise in cases. The commissioner says they're following COVID-19 guidelines and they quarantine residents and close contacts of those who test positive. We have engaged in appropriate pursuant to New Hampshire Public Health and CDC guidelines in quarantining specific housing units associated with contact tracing. The commissioner says when a resident is moved to a housing unit or quarantine, they take their contaminated clothing, ask them to bathe and clean, and provide them with fresh items. Clean bed, clean linens, clean clothes. Um, we have a whole procedure in place. It's being monitored. Um, all of those things, we have contemplated them and engaged them. The commissioner says they're further along than most correctional institutions, and they'll continue to give COVID-19 the respect it deserves. In Concord, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.